Welcome to The Late Show, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Now, everybody... Hey, uh, you remember how uh, the Republicans have been promising to repeal and replace Obamacare for seven years now? Yeah, that's what I've been saying. No, it's been their most consistent message other than, turn down that hip-hop racket, you kids! <laughs> and this is the week. Because Senate Majority Leader and unacknowledged love child of Admiral Akbar, Mitch McConnell. So sad. So sad. Won't return his phone calls. Has promised he will pass Trump care before the July 4th recess. And they have got to, because McConnell knows if they do not pass it now, there is a serious danger that someone might read it. So. <laughs> So, no, it's true. It will happen. They're teaching the kids. They're teaching the kids how to read now. It's dangerous. So come hell or high water, the vote will happen this week. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell this afternoon uh, announced that he is delaying a vote that was supposed to happen this week until after the 4th of July recess. Or it can wait till after the barbecue. <laughs> because... I'll tell you, one thing I will pass is this delicious potato salad. <laughs> now, thank you. Now, <laughs> there are a lot of good reasons not to have the vote this week, okay? Uh, McConnell would have lost. And that's it. <laughs> Republicans. Here's the deal Republicans, who were already nervous, ran for the exits. After the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office announced yesterday that under the GOP plan, 22 million people would lose their health coverage. 22, that's a big number. That's a big number, I admit. Now, to put that number into perspective, if you laid 22 million people end to end, it would reach Canada where they could get health care. <laughs> and just. 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 Just from their prime minister, his smile heals. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> the bill cuts $800 billion from Medicaid, a program that covers almost half of all births, almost two-thirds of people in nursing homes, and almost 40% of all children. 40% of all children. In other words, all the kids named Madison. <laughs> now, this popular name is the idea of that joke. Sunday... <laughs> Sunday, uh, that which the ancients called Kellyanne Conway emerged <laughs> from her chamber of secrets <laughs> to weigh in on the bill's cuts to Medicaid. Well, you said everybody who's on Medicaid now is grandfathered in and is not going to face any cuts, and that, that simply is not factual if you have more than $800 billion in cuts. It also well, you raises... you keep calling them cuts, but we don't, we don't see them as cuts. It's slowing the rate of growth in the future and getting Medicaid back to where it was. Obamacare expanded the, the pool of Medicaid recipients beyond its original intention. Yes, they're not cuts. It's just returning Medicaid to its original intention. It's like an arsonist saying, I didn't burn the house down, I just took the ground back to pre-house levels. <laughs> okay, this is... You see how that's better? But they understand. See? Connection. But after yesterday's CBO score, people started piling on. According to Democratic Senator Brian Schatz, CBO confirms this thing is a blank sandwich. <laughs> now, we do not know yet what word there was redacted. <laughs> so let's just say it's a Schatz sandwich. <laughs> I trust I'm mispronouncing his name correctly. The American Medical Association has also spoken out against it, saying while doctors all swear an oath to first do no harm, this bill violates that standard on many levels. Honestly, I think, I'm not sure if that's true. I think it just might be a matter of punctuation. All they have to do is change it from first, do no harm, to first, do no harm. <laughs> ancient Greek. Simple it was originally in ancient Greek. Even Nevada Republican senator and man looking at the photographer's belt buckle... <laughs> oh, <weird. laughs> Hello. 
Dean Heller damned the bill, saying, if this bill passes, the second biggest lie is your premiums are going down. Of course, the first biggest lie is, we'll only put the bill halfway in. <laughs> Meanwhile, don't know what that means. Meanwhile, it makes no sense. Meanwhile, House Speaker and cyborg learning to smile, Paul Ryan, <laughs> defended the bill this morning on Fox News to explain why the CBO score is just fine. What they're basically saying at the Congressional Budget Office is if you're not going to force people to buy Obamacare, if you're not going to force people to buy something they don't want, then they won't buy it. So it's not that people are getting pushed off a plan, it's that people will choose not to buy something they don't like or want. Mr. Speaker, I, I don't have health insurance because I like it or I, or I want it. Mm -hmm. I have it because I need it. Mm -hmm. For instance, I need food to live. I want that food to be Oreos. <laughs> and because of my steady diet of Oreos, I need health insurance. <laughs> okay? Although I also enjoy a delicious Shat sandwich. <laughs> and we will have more on Obamacare repeal as the Republicans continue to not do it.